Okay, so as promised, I'm going to quickly decorate um, one of my plain pages in my journal. I'm just reaching over to plug my camera in because I've just realised I'm on low battery. <laughs> Apologies. Um, so this, is, so I've arranged all my pages. On my last video, I was showing you how I was arranging the pages. So this is going to be my centre. Um, so I'm going to do just one signature. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to see how it goes and then I'll make a cover to match. Okay, I always do the cover last. Some people do the covers first. I'm going to do it last because I don't know how thick it's going to be, what, whether I'm going to add pages, I don't know. So I've got here so far, I might add some more in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, that's upside down, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I've got about 22 pages and then there'll be the front and back cover. I may add some more envelopes and things like that. So... <clears throat> 22 pages, that's times 4, that's 88. Uh, 22 sheets, that's 88 pages. As I say, I might add some more in. We'll see how we go. I'm not too worried about how many pages there either aren't or, are or aren't. <laughs> um, so there we go. So that is the centre signature. Haven't folded them all as yet. You know, I'll kind of fold them as I go so they're all nice and neat. Some I've edge punched, some I've left. So um, that means that this is my going to be my first page. I'm going to have my cover here. I might decorate that. I don't know yet. But this is going to be my first page. So this is what we're going to decorate first. So you can either decorate like that or what I tend to do is I'll do a page at a time and I'll take it out of my bundle and I'll clip the rest together. And then I'll turn my bundle over to remind myself that that page belongs there and I'll just put all of that to one side and I will literally work one page at a time. Now this is one sheet or four pages and you've got to remember this is going to be the front. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of decorate this whole sheet all in one go. So it's like I've decorated four pages at once. Alright, and how I'm going to do it, um, so these four pages, one, two, three, and four, I'm going to keep two plain, just for writing, I might do a little bit of stamping, but very minimal, and two are going to be decorated. So I've decided that this page and the inside page are going to be decorated with something, and then the second page and the last page are going to be left as plain as possible for writing on. All right, so how am I going to decorate this? Right, so first of all, so I'm going to, although I'm going to do all four at once, I am going to treat each page as um, individual, although when I open like so, I may well stamp all the way across. Don't know yet. So for this page and this page, I've decided we're going to have tucks. So I've created, and this is a very quick way to very quickly fill up a page, it doesn't have to be overwhelming to fill a page, okay? So I've created this. So what this is, this is an old dictionary. And I've grabbed quite a few pages. I've only got one, two, three. So there's four pages, okay? From that, um, it's like this. Now it's quite thin. So I've grabbed four. It's a great big thick book. I think I probably paid a pound from a charity shop. So I've got four pages there, all right, and I've sewn them together. And so what I've done basically is I've assessed the width of that. And so this, when it's complete, will measure about four and a half by about six and three quarters or six and seven eighths. So what I've done is I've got a pocket here, all right. So let me just quickly show you how I've done it. Now you can use a scoreboard, you can do what you want, you can just do it by eye. So how I've quickly made this, I've just grabbed all four of my pages together, all right. And I'm just folding it in at each side at approximately, what's that, I don't know, I'm doing it by eye, about an inch. So I fold it in at about an inch either side, okay. 
so then I know that will fit on the width of my page all right and then all I've done is I've got the bottom I've assessed more or less where I want it about there I've got the bottom and I've just folded it up all right and then you just make crease marks as I say you can fold it you can do what you want and then what you do is you open it back out and we're just going to notch in at either side of that fold there okay so that you've got that and then we're going to notch at the top here as well and here and then we're going to notch at either side of that pocket fold there you so you're cutting a triangle out all right like so so you've got this so then what i've done is i've gone with my sewing machine and i've sewn these pages together and i've also used a corner rounder so i fold those in like so and then put that in my corner rounder as you can see here all right now I've sewn the tabs together as well to make them strong because there's four sheets and then I've inked it, I've folded the pocket up and I have glued that in there like so, alright, so that you've created yourself a pocket and that is sewn all the way around. So you've got a pocket there, then you've got these flaps which we're going to glue onto the page and then you've got a big pocket down the back. Alright, but before we do that, we're just going to do some random stamping on there. So let me just grab a block and I'm using this lovely script here because I think it's lush. I'm just going to load that on there. Like so, I don't know if that's the right way around. I'll grab one of the inks that I'm using. I'm using Vintage Photo. Is that the right way up? It's the right way up. Okay, so you could use what inks you want. You could use black, you could use anything. And I'm just going to stamp randomly. There, it doesn't matter. If some of it gets covered up, you might be able to see some of it. You might not. It doesn't really matter. And while I'm here, I'll just go across the centre and just randomly stamp there as well. Okay, and then that's some of the back one done. Just bob that to one side. I know if I want to ink my page, I will ink it. Like that. Okay. I'm not going to be doing all of them as quick as this because I, I do want to spend time of it but I said I'd come as I was asked and how to decorate a blank page now you could leave that and you could stick something on there have it as a what could we could stamp the perfume bottle but I've created this um, pocket here so I'm going to glue that on I've made the tabs so that they attach to the page rather than the direct pocket and then you've got and the reason for that is that then you've got more room so I'm just going to put a thin bead of glue along the bottom there all right and then that will hold all of that in place like so all right and then you can see you've got that background stamping it just adds a bit more interest it's not essential yeah, you could do collaging with napkins just around the edge, you could do what you wanted or you could just leave it plain. Alright, let me just get my bone folder, give that a good squish and then I'm going to do the same on this one here. We're just going to do some stamping, I think I'll have that decorative border one there, look that's pretty. Alright. Um, like so, that lined up on my stamp, my ink, uh, which way around shall we have it, I'll have it that way, so I'm going to go, hopefully I'm in shot, uh, I'm not too worried if it's not perfectly straight, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going 
to stamp that all the way across the top and then it will go, we'll go over onto the other page as well. So I'm killing two birds with one stone as it were. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. Gone a bit skew with there but it doesn't matter. So, all right, so that's that bit done. And then I did say I was having another tuck on there. So I've done the fold out flip. There's tutorials on YouTube on that. It's very, very simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue that on three sides and attach that. Oops, I'm being in. Okay. And if I just attach that fairly central, you know, you want it to look somewhat, somewhat like. And I can decorate that at a later date, that little pocket. And now that's there for writing. That's got a tuck and we can have this one for writing as well. We've got a little bit of stamping on there. Just need to just run a little bit of ink around so that it all matches. Bit more. Let's have a look. I've got some a little bit more there. You don't have to wink it if you don't want. It's up to you. Just need to turn my phone off. And um, as you do more and more journals, you'll get kind of a a system going, and you'll know what you're doing, and you'll just be able to make them in next to no time. So I'll decorate that later. So, like I said, how I'd already made all of my ephemera. Okay, so I've got all of these so ready to go so I can slot. I could have this little notebook in here, if it'll fit. Which it should do. So I can have my little notebook in there. Alright, and then I could have um, one of these trifold tags in the back of there. Like so. Okay, and then just decorate the front part of there ever so slightly. So let's have a look what I've got on my desk. What have we got? Let's have a look. So I just grab my pots of pots of joy, <laughs> pots of junk, and let's have a look what we've got. Um, let's have a look. So I've got a bit of a dialer there. I've got some tickets. What else have I got? I've got some words somewhere. Let me see if I can find my words. Here we are. So let's have a look what we've got. Uh, what's that one? Hope, love, so. We will have that. Love. Get rid of that one. Okay, so we're going to have that for now. So let's have a look. So I'm going to ink my ticket up. The same, um, I'm going to use the same distress ink throughout. I'm using, like I said, vintage photo. Let me just quickly just take some of the brightness off of that. I don't have to, want to have it completely dark, I quite like some of the white. I'm just taking some of the starkness off, and then I'm just going to put a really thin bead of glue, a few dots there because I don't want, really want it flapping about and then I'll stick that doily on there like so, okay, so, and then I've got this that says love, alright, and I'm going to have that there. And then just because I love lace, let me just grab, see if I can grab something from my little lace hoard. Now I love these little flowers and when they run out I'm going to have to find some more. And, you know we've got a lot of tea staining, uh, coffee staining and distress inks and so just to have the pops of colour you can add 
handmade paper flowers maybe or little bits of lace I'm going to have that little bit of lace there that's just added that bit of colour alright um, and there you go that is one page done that's going to be plain for writing I'm going to decorate that later I'll probably just get some um, tags in here because this is, you've got one have a look we've got some ephemera uh, we'll have some of these some ephemera in there so that's because I've got them all ready I can just get them all together will that fit in the back of there no let's have a look what else have I got um, another piece of ephemera we've got this little card will that fit no it's too big what about that one? Bit big. This one will fit. So we've got another tag. We can have that. Oh, I should have glued on the bottom there. Look. Should I? No. What I need to do is just stick that on there like that. And then stick that in the back like that. That's it. Okay. And then shall we quickly decorate this? Or shall we wait? <laughs> Why not? Let's quickly decorate it. So, I've got some more doilies here. Um, so, I really, really quickly just fold that in half. Cut it in half. Like so. You could stamp that. You could do what you want. Alright, let's just move this over. You could decorate all of these pockets and tucks, obviously have them ready to go, uh, all at the beginning, it's up to you, different people work in different ways. I kind of like to decorate them as I go because then what I'll do is I'll use up the bits of garbage that I've ended up collecting on my desk. So we'll just stick that on there like so. Alright. And then I just want a little bit of something on there. I don't necessarily want... What do I want? Um, I might just have one of these little bows. Excuse me while I just lift my... <laughs> my jink stuff. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. What have I got in here? Oh, we've got these little doilies. We've got these little bows. Don't have any butterflies made. I might have put a butterfly on, but I don't have any ready, I don't think. What we got in here? No. What's these? What's these? And what's these? What's in here? Oh, we've got little buttons. We've got all sorts. So you just uh, have a look what you've got. I'll just move all of that out of the way. So what I might do here is I might just cut that doily in half and then I'm going to need some glue that's good for fabric. At the moment I'm using this because it's what I've got. Okay. And just stick that on there. If you watch Yvonne Preston, she typically does a doilette and then she'll put a ticket. Um, like, have I got any tickets? Have I got some? I've got some somewhere. You've got a billion of them. Like, she'll put like a ticket here and then a butterfly. <laughs> a doily, a ticket, and a butterfly. So I'm trying, you know, I've got this idea from, um, you know, from watching Yvonne, but I try not to directly copy. And same with you, you know, you might like this idea and you might think, oh, I'd rather have a paper flower or a, a bow made out of seam binding or whatever you want to do. That's what you'll, you know, you'll find your own way. Just need to leave that to dry a minute. Um, I really, you could use hot glue, but I really don't like using hot glue on fabric or paper because I find that it dries, it goes hard and then it falls to pieces. So I'd much rather find a good wet glue. Um, so that will stick there now. So that's that page done. 
just that get off get off and that page so that is you know one of my pages done so now i would grab the rest of my pages i put that in my book okay and i'd grab the next one the only thing i might add is some uh, you know some seam binding or something to my tags but there you go that's four pages done from a blank sheet very very quickly you can do them as embellished or as simple as you like all right uh, when i'm um, due to do some more i'll come on and i'll do it with you so you can uh, get some ideas thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye